All right, thank you for tuning in, ball python enthusiasts. So today, we have a smaller clutch, but it is a very special clutch, with some special clowns. So this was a female maker, banana, cypress, clown, male, the same boy that I've pretty much been using all season. He was uh, one of three males I've used this season, but he seems to be the only one that uh, we're actually making videos of his babies. But for this clutch, he was bred to a spot nose special clown. So this was my first time ever actually hatching out a special clowns. So let's check these guys out real quick. So starting off, pretty simple with this one. I believe this boy is a uh, cypress clown. When he first uh, came out of the egg and didn't have his shed yet, I was thinking he was just a regular clown because his head is a little more patterned than some of the cypress stuff I have hatched from this same male this season. The amount of pattern he has and the redness of his dorsal is telling me this is definitely a cypress boy. I've hatched out quite a few plain uh, cypress clowns and they are always a delight, but this boy is wonderful doing well. Obviously the goal for this clutch was more special stuff, which this guy does not have. But eh, we are happy to have a beautiful healthy snake. Now we can go check out his brother, but here he is. Cypress Clown Male. Now for a look at his brother, who I am a uh, little more perplexed on what he actually is. He doesn't quite look like a uh, cypress clown to me, his dorsal's kinda a little different for him to be that, but right now I'm thinking uh, he may be a special clown instead of a cypress clown. He is a little lighter in pattern, his head's a little lighter, His uh, he doesn't have as much pattern, his pattern's more uh, dripped together than his brother. But we can compare them side by side real quick. The Cypress Clown on the top compared to the Maybe Cypress Clown, Maybe Special Clown. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you know what you're talking about. If you don't, then please don't. <laughs> but, uh, of course, it comes to worse. We can always shed test the uh, bottom one to see for certain if he is, in fact, special. But neither of these guys are going to be on the uh, market while this year's shipping season is open, so they will be uh, next year's babies for sale. So we will have a few months with them to see how they age and develop, and hopefully we'll have a more definitive answer on what they actually are. The top one I'm very confident is Cypress Clown. But uh, the bottom one, we will see. You can see he's a bit lighter, and again, his pattern's kind of more dripped together than his brother. But these are them. So, for their sisters, I am much more certain that they actually have the special gene and will definitely be holdbacks over here, but we are also happy to have hatched these healthy boys out. But let us go check out their sisters right now. So here, real quick, we have the beautiful mother of the clutch. So this is a special spot nose clown, and I am showing you her because one of her babies is the exact same thing as her, except with a banana as well. So we get the cool uh, triple gene clown, so four genes total. But I just want to take a look at her uh, head stamp because uh, her daughter's is pretty much the exact same thing. And here she is. So, putting the mother away before she wiggles off to somewhere she shouldn't, uh, we can actually show off this beautiful holdback that we were fortunate enough to hatch out. So this is the special banana spot nose clown, and I am uh, absolutely certain of that. She is pretty much an identical carbon copy to her mother, except she just has the banana gene added as well. She is absolutely marvelous with the amount of purple and like neon orange that she has in her pattern. Her head stamp is uh, pretty much identical 
that's uh, her mother, except it has that uh, inversed banana color. I've always uh, compared them to looking like a squashed bug or something, with that cool spot nose head stamp, and then a uh, special just wax it out a little more. But this girl is absolutely remarkable. And we are very, very happy to have her in the collection. I was going for a more special clown stuff with this clutch, obviously. Because special clowns are very, very cool. They add a lot of color, a lot of pop. Seem to go well with pretty much everything. And we are ecstatic to have her over here. So here she is. Female. Special. Banana. Spot nose clown. All right, and believe it or not, her uh, sister is even cooler than she is. So let's go check her out right now. All right, and for a very fitting finale, we have this beautiful beast. Now, this is the all gene animal. We had 1 in 16 odds, or about 6% of uh, hatching this girl out. But this is the Banana Cypress Spotnose Special Clown Female. So, she has five genes, which in my opinion are all complementing each other pretty much perfectly. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty fair to say that this is definitely my favorite snake that I've hatched out this season. She's absolutely going to be a holdback over here. Uh, she's pretty much perfect in every single way. She is colorful as a snake can be. I already know the uh, camera's not really going to pick up her color. I've already taken some test pictures of her. And uh, it really, I don't know how to match what she actually looks like in real life. Just uh, her purples and oranges that are blending so well together. Doesn't even look like a real animal. She's got these like little uh, medallion spots going all the way down her body. Her flames at the bottom. Like Cypress just took what that uh, everything that last snake was and just added <laughs> like 100% uh, more punch to it. Added pattern, added color, a lot of personality. But here she is to close off this video. The 1 in 16, all gene, banana, spot nose, cypress, special clown. But thank you for watching YouTube. Super happy to have her here, along with her sister over there. And her two brothers are pretty cool too, but you know, this is what I was after with this clutch. Very happy to have hit it. Alright, thank you for watching YouTube. Subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye bye.